The cause of this error is that you tried to execute a SQL statement that references a table or view that either does not exist or that you do not have access to or it belongs to another schema and you did not reference the table by the schema name. There are a lot of resolution options, we'll talk about them one by one. So if this error occurred because the table or view does not exist, you will need to create the table or view. You can check to see if the table exists in Oracle by executing the following SQL statement. Here in the last line, this object name under the quote, you need to replace this object name by the name of the table or view that you want to look for. So for example, if you are looking for a suppliers table, you would execute this kind of statements. Okay, here you can see the last line object name is equals to suppliers. If the error is occurred because you do not have access to the table or view, you will need to have the owner of the table or view or your database administrator grant you the appropriate privilege to this object. And we'll talk about how to do this and how can we revoke or how can we grant the privileges to users as an administrator but in further videos if this error occurred because the table or view belongs to another schema and you did not reference the table by the schema name you will need to rewrite your sql to include the schema name for example you may have executed the following sql statement and here suppliers is our table now you can see in this example that we have not used the schema of suppliers but the suppliers table is not owned by you and rather it is owned by a schema called app for example we are taking the schema name as app you could fix your sql as follows so you can use this app dot suppliers in place of suppliers to include the schema name if you do not know what is the schema of our table then you can execute the following sql to find out this is similar to our previous lines of codes and this will execute if the supplier table is present then it will return the schema name who owns the suppliers table so this is it i hope you resolved your problem and i hope you got little bit insight on how things work in oracle Please uh, be more focused when you are writing your codes because uh, minute mistakes can lead to bigger problems and later you will not be able to rectify those problems or recognize those problems so easily. Thank you for watching, subscribe to this channel and thank you.